I want to focus in on comparison operators in this lesson and how to compare things. And we've already got a comparison here on my if statement that I had from the previous code. So I'll just go ahead and remove some of the code that I had before that I won't need. And we're just going to focus in down here on this if statement. So you can see that we've got one of the comparison operators already right here. And this is the less than symbol. And so basically what's going to end up happening here, 5 is going to be less than 6. And you can see that I've got echo time and time's going to be echoed out. In fact, if I refresh my, save my page and refresh it, you'll see 24 is echoed out, meaning that this is a true comparison. This comparison resulted in a true uh, result. And so you do have, and if you've got the less than symbol, you can also expect to have the greater than symbol. And in this case, it would make it a false statement. So if I refreshed it, the 24 would not show up. Now, if I wanted to compare equality, then what I would need to do is I cannot use a single equal sign. The reason for that is because a single equal sign in this language means to assign it to one from one object to another. And so what we need to do is use two equal signs. If five is equal to six, and if I save it and refresh it, nothing is going to show up and the result or the reason why nothing is going to show up is because it's not equal or there's no no equality and so just to test that out I could easily write in there like an else else statement here else we'll just say echo out a um, fault statement or we can just say um, was not true and I'll go ahead and save that now refresh it and you'll see that was not true was echoed out meaning that this was not equal so it did the else part of our if statement so we can test for equality by using two equal signs now there is another option here with equal signs and that's if uh, we used three equal signs we could test if it was if they're equal but also the same data type and in this case if I were to use something like 5.0 I go ahead and hit save and refresh you'll still see was not true is there if I remove one of these equal signs, hit save and hit refresh, you'll see 24 is there and you're going to say, well, how did 24 show up? 5 and 5.0 are equal. They're the same thing. The difference is with the third equal sign in there, it doesn't, all, it doesn't just test for equality, meaning 5 and 5.0. It also tests for the same data type. 5.0 is a decimal number. 5 is a integer or an integer and so they're not the same data types and it works with variables too if we have a variable that was set as 5 and another variable set as 5.0 they're different data types and so the third equal sign will also test for not only equality in the value but equality in the data types themselves so that's what the three equal signs are there for let me go ahead and change this back to a different one here I'll change it back to 6 and let's go ahead and do what if it was not equal that we wanted to be true I can put in the exclamation point equal sign if I hit save and hit refresh, 24 still will show up. And the reason being is because 5 is not equal to 6. And so that's how we can test for not equal to. Some people like to use the symbols, um, the let's see, less than symbol and then greater than symbol, meaning it's not less than and not greater than um, 6, meaning it's not equal to it, or it is less than or equal to or greater than. Let's rephrase that there. To 6, which basically represents the fact that it's not equal to 6. And so if I save it and refresh it, you'll see 24 still will run. And that's because 5 is not equal to 6. It just depends on what you would like to use for um, equality. We also have the option of doing less than or equal than, um, less than or equal to, and then greater than or equal to. So what I mean by that is less than or equal to would be written like this. So is 5 less than or equal to 6? And the answer is yes, 24 will show up. Now we can switch it back to greater than or equal to. And I can go ahead and hit save and hit refresh. And you'll see it was not true, meaning that 5 is not greater than or equal to 6. So it depends here what you want. I could also use something like um, if it was 5 and 5.0. 5 and 5.0 is going to be equal to, but it's not greater than. So it should also show 24 here. And there it goes with the 24 if I saved it and refreshed it. So this is just a basic overview of the comparison operators that can be used whenever we want to compare something here within PHP.